Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to discuss a case 2 of this topic that how to reduce a non-homogeneous uh, differential, ordinary differential equation of first order into a homogeneous form. So we are going to discuss the case 2 of here, the case 1 we have discussed already. You can find the link of it in the description box of this video. Okay, so what exactly the case 2 is, like in general, if we just try to uh, write down here in this way, that if we are having some kind of ordinary differential equation of first order, like this, and after analyzing or after testing its homogeneity, we come to know that it is non-homogeneous. Okay, oh, so it's a1 and simply x. Okay, it's a2x plus b2y plus c2 dy equals to zero. So, okay, so this is a homogen non homogeneous uh, ODE of first order. So the case 2 says that if the ratio of these two coefficients and the ratio of these two coefficients, if they are not, if they are equal, then what is going to be the case? How you're going to reduce such kind of non-homogeneous ODE of first order into a homogeneous form and then later to the separable equation form. So if you are having, uh, on analyzing, you come to know that the ratios of these two coefficients, if they are same, giving you same answer, then what is the strategy of uh, reducing and bringing a homogeneous form. Uh, let's see one example related to it. And before approaching to one exam uh, to the example, I must say that the strategy in general, if we just try to understand, that what we are going to do, we are going to substitute this this part. by z or any other variable you like okay we are just going to substitute this part by means of some other variable okay and make sure that uh, the differential equation will be of that type that uh, the stuff which is or the expression which is attached along with the dif differential of y this thing is going to be definitely some kind of multiple of this part it's definitely going to be like that. Only after that, you are going to replace this part also with respect to Z or some or, or, what, or whatever the variable you are using. Okay, so let's move ahead and try to look the example. Okay, here you go. The example is quite beautiful one. You can see that if I just try to write this differential equation in terms of dy by dx, I just try to write down like this and then I just shift this side over here and this differential x over here it's going to look something like this Okay, and you can see that this is the function f of x, y. And if you just try to check, and if you just try to replace your x by your tx and your y by your ty, then, then you will find out that it is not going to be equal to this form. This is the way of testing homogeneity. And this is clearly and very exhaustively discussed in one of the previous videos. You can see all the references links in the description box, I repeat. So it is not going to be definitely equal. So this equation is non-homogeneous. That's understood. So uh, you know that this is your a1, this is your a2, uh, b, uh, sorry, b1, this is your c1. This is your a2, this is b2, and this is your c2. So let me just write down here for my a's that if a1 is 2 here, b1 is my 1. Okay, there is, though there is no need of writing c1, but uh, 
we know that it's one there's no need to write down here and my a2 is my 4 my b2 is my 2 and my c2 is minus 1 no need to write down here because there is no such involvement so here you see that a1 upon a2 is 2 by 4 so it is your half okay and b1 upon b2 is also giving you half so you see that these two ratios are giving you half, so they are equal, obviously. So this is the case two uh, form, format. So what you're going to do, you know that this is your a1x plus b1 part. You're going to replace this thing with your c, as we have discussed here. So let, let 2x plus y equals to your z. We just close this thing in a nice box. Just to keep it highlighted all right that's it and you can see that this thing it is the it is twice of 2x plus y if we just try to write down here that dy by dx let's try to write in in a bit organized form So you can see that this is twice of your 2x plus y, and this is your minus 1. All right, so over here, this is your z, and this is also going to be your z. So what is going to be dy by dx? With what you're going to replace this uh, dy by dx? So over here, with the help of this equation, you can see that you can write this equation this way, keeping y as a subject. Okay, and once when you differentiate both sides with respect to your x, so it is going to give you dy by dx equals to dz upon dx minus 2. All right, you are going to replace this thing with this. Okay, so we are going to replace... Minus 2 equals 2 and once when I open the bracket the negative sign is definitely going to change the sign of the terms which are inside the bracket so I'm writing it directly it is going to look something like this and okay and now we are going to shift this two over here and then we will take the LCM all right so let us do here we are having bit space still So this thing shows that dz upon dx is equals to minus z minus 1 upon like this. Now we are going to take the LCM. Okay, so just turn the page and once when we perform a nice calculation here, it is going to give me, I'm sorry, it's 4z, it's 4z minus 2 upon 2z minus 1. So it is giving me finally 3z minus 3 upon 2z minus 1. Okay, so over here, the 3 is coming common, so we are going to take it out. It looks something like this. And now the basic integration we are going to apply uh, uh, after separating out the variables. So you can see this function is entirely expressed in terms of your uh, just one variable z. So we are going to shift it entirely over here. Okay, so... It looks something like this. It's 2z minus 1 upon z minus 1 in times dz equals to 3dx. Okay, now we'll integrate both sides. So once when we integrate both sides, we are going to apply our elongated s, the notation of the integration. And this is something we have just got.
okay now we are going to uh, transform this uh, quotient of variable z in terms of some expression uh, some some rational expression so what it is going to be it is as you can see that uh, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator they are same so once they are same then in that case as well you are going to divide and you can get uh, the, the uh, equivalent rational expression so you can write it like this that if you're having dz to z minus 1 so you can see that if you just got it two times so it gives you 2z minus 2 you change signs okay and you are having one left this is the remainder so what you write you just write down here the quotient of z plus remainder of your z upon divisor of your, of your z okay so that's how it is expressed so this is the quotient this is the remainder this is the divisor so quotient plus remainder upon divisor okay You can, you can further confirm by performing some nice LCM, you're definitely going to, going to get the same rational expression back. Now you just apply here the integration. There's no need to, uh, to perform U substitution, it's quite understood. You have already uh, maintained so many steps in this calculation. So no need to perform that, that deep uh, integration. You just directly perform a direct work. And this is something that you are going to have, plus some constant. So no need to write that constant. You just write down the constant directly over here. Okay, like that. Now you are going to replace your z by your original expression and your original expression was something this. So you're going to replace your z by a 2x plus y. Okay. Two x plus y. So wherever we are having our z, we will replace it with the original. Sorry, it's y. Now it looks too horrible, but it's fine. So, okay. So, <clears throat> plus your c1. So it gives you 4x plus 2y. I can shift this 3x over here. It looks minus 3x plus log of your 2x plus y minus 1 equals to some constant. Okay, so finally we just got our solution and it is this. That's it. So this is the solution of the non-homogeneous first order ODE of your case number two okay so i hope now you have now uh, you have now understood how to reduce a non-homogeneous equation differential equation to a homogeneous form that belongs to your case two so that's all for today so if you find this video helpful i humbly request you to subscribe my channel hit on the like and share this video with your friends and other learners and don't forget to watch the other videos of the same series so that you can further strengthen your concepts take good care of yourself allah hafiz